Alright, so this time we're going to take a look at the, my comic books that I bought during Anime Expo. And they're in my messenger bag that I bought, the Super Saiyan Goku. Let's get those out. It's really a big ass stack, as you can see. Now, since it's been a while since Anime Expo, it's already the end of the month in July already, I don't quite remember which stack goes where. But let's readjust. And see what's up. Alright, so most of these issues that I bought are first issues and most of the whatever parters they are. So first off this is the Justice Society of America number one with um golden age characters such as Flash Hawkman, Green Lantern, Nurse Patriot. No, this is Star Girl, Star Man, and Power Girl right here. This was interesting. In February 07, so that was recent. And here's the old comic Ghost Rider takes on the Punisher, part one of two. I only have this one. This was interesting. I have no idea if this is. From this is I was the first one, no Nicholas Cage. I should know this. I watched the friggin' movie, both of them. The the first Ghost Rider or Dan Kutch. I think it's, his name was Dan something, I don't know. And so this one is the superheroes catalogue of games, books, toys and puzzles. For 50 cents. Um, I bought all of these comics for 50 cents. There was a dollar bin too. But I didn't want to leave room because I didn't have enough money for to buy a dollar for per comic book. So it has all of these interesting stuff. Like Captain America. Get baby dolls. Super Friends stuff. It's really interesting stuff. Although I have to tell you, I haven't read any of these. I am just bought them out of pure hey those looks really freaking interesting I should read them someday and here's a what if and this is this is a recent one because it uses Marvel Alterniverse so and this is what if the Hulk had evolved into the Maestro so the Maestro is like evil Hulk at least that's what I remember I don't even remember if my show was the Hulk in the first place. I think he. Alright, wait. And here's the Marvel masterpieces, which is pretty interesting. And here is the Heroic Age, Age of Heroes. This is the New Age. From the Gold Age, Silver Age, Bronze Age, the Dark Age. I think there was a Dark Age. And so this is the limited series, four issue series that is post extremist. Um, is this his? I don't remember. No. But here is Bucky Cat, Thor, Spider Man, and Red and Black. Yeah, here's, well this was, what is 2010, this is Iron Man 2, I should, a digital comic, I should read that later, and this is part 2, again with advertising the Iron Man video game. And this is part three of four of Taskmaster, Squirrel Girl, um, 
Maria Hill. And the back is UFC figures. Just interesting. As real as it gets, aside from watching the actual fight. And so this is another what if. This is an old school one. And you can tell by the sleeve. So this is what if the Marvel superheroes had lost Atlantis attack. So I don't remember this story arc. Or story, I don't know if it was a single issue or not, of the Atlantis attacks. I'm assuming something set Namor off yet again that he would attack the land because he rules Atlantis. And here's some old school D and D ad. This looks pretty interesting. And this is the official handbook of the Marvel Universe Book of the Dead Deluxe Edition. So it has like Power Man, Bucky, Hydra, I think this is Baron Von Strucker, Baron Zemo, <laughs> Air Walker to Death Stalker. That's so there was a Marvel Universe of the second half of the alphabet with like S through something but I didn't buy it because I didn't see the first half. I mean, it tells you everything about who dead like Carry On, Blizzard, Black Knight, I didn't even know he died. Basilisk, I don't know half these characters though. So, Airwalker. And so this one is another what if. What if the Hulk went Berserk with the symbiote. Is that a symbiote Spider Man or regular black suit Spider Man? Oh. It's Popeye advertisement. That's pretty old school, so. Yeah, let's look at the first issue. So, I am the Watcher, and I have long observed the British, the obsessed. So, I have of Earth, the universe is on your Earth, world of Sedron. Uh, so, this is, would be an alternate first issue when he becomes wacky. I guess. So, this is the Incredible Hulk versus the Incredible Hulk. As you see, it's Bruce band right here and green versus gray and here's another dungeon game I don't know if it's a new D&D &D game it just says the new dungeon that's interesting so here is a changeling against the terminator and if you only watch the animated series it was Teen Titans Beast Boy versus Slade it's weird the hell all the Teen Titans call Slade by his first name, but whatever. So the Tales of the Teen Titans. So this is... I know this is set after Terra dies in the story arc. Here, the Superpowers Collection. Yeah. And this was before they got changed to the Titans, but that was like a few years after, I think. And so this one, this one, hey, 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 this is some Secret Origins featuring Batman vs. the Mud Pack. And the story detect this continues in Detective number 604, which I do not have. I just thought this was interesting. Yeah, the back was a different... So this one, this one, that's what I wanted. I bought the first day, I know that. And this is Armor Wars issue 1, where Tony Stark decides to take back all his armors and stolen designs from people who use it, like the security, armor, the crimson. I don't know if he took the crimson down. So this, I got first day for sure, so this must be 
the ones I bought the second day, which I knew I bought more of, so, yeah, okay. This one, these are more recent versions, I think. So this is World's Finest, uh, Worlds of at War, Requiem, Casualties of War, Issue 1 of 2001. I don't know the story after this one, I just picked it up because it looked interesting. It's a lot of death. Yeah, there's Golden Age characters in here. <laughs> Douglas MacArthur, Truman. Oh, this is after World War Two. Ooh, ooh, hey, hell yes. All right. And this is Dinosaurs for Hire, issue one. Yeah, yeah. Um, just the back. They're back. The X Mutants from the '80s. And here's the Road to Civil War, issue one, direct edition. The New Avengers Illuminati. Da, 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 da. So it's Reed Richards, Mister Fantastic, Stephen Strange, Iron Man. Tony Stark, Namor, Submariner, uh, Cap. This isn't Cap. This is um, Black Bolt. I don't remember his name. Professor X. The Sonic Riders. Yeah. yeah. And this is the Flash, the fastest man alive. First issue of August '06. The Ring. So this is Barry Allen version. Ooh. And here is Superman Returns the video game. And this is the Drizzen Files, because I like the series, and this is a thick ass. Book. Here's the book. This is the comic book. Book, 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 book. Wait. Back there. Back. And here's the Marvel's Project. Um, I assume. How do you create tomorrow? The race of the superhuman. So I'm assuming this is just an updated origin story of Cap and Captain America and maybe how some of the later superheroes were influenced by his work. Like in the Avengers, I know most of you have already seen the Avengers, so I'm going to say it anyway. Like how Bruce Banner's research with gamma radiation was because of uh, the superhuman formula. And this is Jurassic Strike Force 5, which I read in uh, blah 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 Comicsology, which I really liked the first issue. I already have the first issue, so I had, but I didn't buy the second issue, so I wanted this one. So these, this is an interesting story, man. It's like awesome. It's like some alien dude just decided to take like five random ass dinosaurs. Well, five, the five dinosaurs are the good guys. They turn him into fucking awesome ass wars, but he has other dinosaurs that are evil that are his minions as well, but it's really interesting fucking series. And this is the Necronomicon. And the only reason I bought this was because the Evil Dead, Necronomicon, and Chuchulu. That's it. I'm sure it's an interesting read, but it looks awesome. And here... It is H.P. Lovecraft's Haunt of Horrors. Uh, it's Max Comics Limited Series 1 of 3. Explicit content. So, it looks like it might be similar to Vincent Price's comic lines, but I'm assuming this is one is more creepy as hell. And this is John Constantine Hellblazer. 2011 edition uh, Suicide Bridge and this is Smallville season 11 I'm a, I think season 11 was the last season I don't fucking remember I haven't finished watching the damn thing and this is Bella Lugosi's Tales from the Grave first bone chilling issue which is thick as fuck and I know this should be similar to Vincent Price's. 
nice pinup. And over here is Superman. Day of Doom 104. And new Gotham Central preview inside. So I know this isn't the Death and Return of Superman because that was in the 80s and he doesn't have a mullet. This is like a rematch. And he returns stronger than ever. And this is Justice League of America and Justice Society of America Secret Files and Origins. So this has everyone from the Golden Age, JSA, to the Justice League. What the fuck is Dr. Muda? Midway Comics. And as you can see, oh, it's Star Spangled Kit. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, it has comics too, but it's also ordinary stories. The Fellowship of the Ring. New DVD box that you must buy. And this is DC in the wave, wake of Infinite Crisis, Brave New World. This is the brand new spanking first issue with um, OMAC, Martian Manhunter, Shazam, call him Captain Marvel. And this is the other, the Joker hero, the Creeper. And here's Superman Returns, so this is a, another lengthy figure after the consequences of Infinite Crisis. Beef. I think that was the last crisis before the new 52 paved way. And this is Green Lantern Circle Fire, issue 1, Dark Conception with Kyle Rayner. And what I'm a, I don't think this is Parallax, but I'm not sure. Tang. You guys remember this fucking shit? This was the bomb. Tang. Tang. Another thick one, too. I'm getting a lot of thick first issues for this. But that was when the first issues packed the shit ton of punch. This is Justice League of America, A World's at War, issue one. Okay, sorry for the interruption. My The space on my memory card just was made full so I take it out. So this is the Justice League of America, All Worlds at War, All at War, Issue 1 of 2001, United They Fall, which I assume is set with Atlanteans, which is, I assume, set before, because this is Requiem of the World's Finest Superman comic. So, yeah, I hope. I am going to read this one first before I read this one. Yeah. And so the next one, if you haven't seen from me fumbling around, is an actual old school Justice Society of America pre-Power Girl. Home Again. The original Super Team Returns. Issue 1. There's Owl Man, Hawk Man, Minute Man, Miniman or Star Man. This is Owl Man. The Flash, Sandman, Our Man. Ah, oh, fucking shit. I don't know which is which. Alan Scott, Green Lantern. Still don't remember that guy in Hawk Girl. This is over here. Is Batman, Superman, and Batman Generations: An Imaginary Tale from 1939 and 1949, Book One of Four. Which I do not have. I'm assuming 1939 is Superman, 1949 is Bats. So, oh no. Oh, here's the because it's a full graphic novel. The Gloss. 1939. On the eve of Metropolis World's Fair, two young heroes meet for the first time Superman, champion of justice, and the Batman, the hype and dark avenger of the night. The first appearance Batman. Together they must work to defeat the maniacal ultra humanite, no matter what it takes. 1949, now ten years older and wiser, Superman and Batman, no hyphen, face the combined threat of the Joker and Lex Luthor for the sake of a pregnant Lois Lane. With the aid of Robin, now new young adult Sam, so this is Dick Great. 
Not um, Dick Grayson. That's super interesting. Um, this is 60s. This is later Batman. This is an interesting book. It's like a 10 year story. That's awesome. And this is the last one. The classics that made legend. The Law of Judge Dredd. This is the first issue. With Dredd and the other judges. And this is Quality Comics. Bad Company. Judge Dredd. Rogue Troopers. Sam Slade. Robo Hunter. Law of Dredd. Slain. Uh, Shining Dog. Timester Zenith. So this. That's my fun. So this isn't. The main comic, this is the second comic. The secondary comic series. Like how the action comics is the main and the Avengers of Superman could be a second comics series. Alright, better example. Main comic series, Detective Comics, Longest Running. Second comic series, Batman and Robin. Okay, like that. This is interesting. I don't. No, no, I haven't read this one yet. So. Oh, no, I have read this one yet. I already read this one. So this is a very interesting read. The other one I read but I didn't pick up was like. Dreads, Robot, Butler, Helper, Thingamajigger. It was framed for murder by another robot. Who was built like him, but went on a different path of robo life, as you will. And then Judge Dredd. Um, so most of the comic is spent with the robot trying to figure out, oh, who the hell done this? And then Judge Dredd, at the end, in the nick of time, drops in and kills the robot. So, yeah. So that's my thick ass stack of comics. Thank you for waiting through 20 minutes. So, new watchers to my channel, if you actually got this far, um, this is a preview of how long each of my reviews are, no matter what the fuck it is. I also expect a little cursing now and then. That each review that I do is long as fuck. So, skip ahead if you want, but just a fair warning for you all. Alright? So, stay tuned for the rest of my videos in the Anime Expo 2013 list. This is Mofo See That, and I'll see you later. Or you swing me later. Though so technically all you see is this. Ooh, and my shirt. Hey, right, bye bye.